everyone and a massive welcome, or welcome back, to Fallout Play Build Collect. This game is from Modifius Entertainment, here in the UK, based in London. And the first thing we need to notice here is this lovely box art. We see our heroes here fighting in front of a red rocket. It looks like with those super mutants behind them, our heroes are in a bit of trouble. First thing we're greeted with opening the box is some plastic bags. These are really useful for storing all the small components, and this is a really nice touch from Modifius. Next up, we have Getting Acclimated. This game is by James Sheehan. This guide is ideal for those who are completely inexperienced with tabletop games. It takes you through the basic process of how to use miniatures, how to move them, how to fight with them. The graphics are extremely clear, the pictures are colourful, and the descriptions are very useful. This is very well laid out and an impressive start. I understand a lot of corrections has been made as this game is now a couple of years old. For those of you just picking the game up, I'll put a link in the description to the latest to Ratner on Modifius' website. Next up we have the first sheet of tokens. These are bright and very clearly printed. And they're a very thick card, which is really nice to see. The tokens are double-sided and include range rulers, so you don't have to worry about measuring. We have a second set of counters and tokens and range rulers. Once again, this is double-sided, a nice thick card, and nice clear graphics. Next up, we move to the game mats. Once again, very nice graphics, very clearly printed. They have a nice matte finish, and they're on really thick poster paper. If you want to see a bit more of those, stay tuned for another upcoming video where we'll take a closer look at the rest of the components in the game. We move on to the full rules of playbook. This is a thick and lavish book. The Diffius have done a wonderful job. Lots of clear photographs, wonderful dioramas. It's also very nice to see a painting guide here with suggested colours to use. This is somewhat of a surprise for Modifius, who are not well known for tabletop gaming at the time. This is a very welcome addition. This book also features very, very clear diagrams that takes us through the mechanics of how to play the game. Lovely graphics, very well presented and well printed on thick glossy paper. This game relies very heavily on icons. And you can see here towards the back of the book, we have a couple of pages with all the icons listed for you. No doubt this will take some time to learn, but I'm sure once memorized, this will speed up the play of the game considerably. This time we have a campaign guide. This is another lavishly produced book full of gorgeous colour photographs and well laid out diagrams. This book takes us through how to play quests. Solo mode, yes you can play this game on your own, you don't need multiple players. And there's a number of scenarios in the back. Including some basic tutorial scenarios to get you started. Once again the standard here is very high. On the back of the book, we have a description of the icons featured on the cards. So let's take a look at those cards now. We have a number of cards covering all of the characters in the game. Everything is clear and very well laid out. And again, icons are used very heavily. Also included are cards for the AI instructions for if you're playing solo. Next up, we have our first deck of smaller cards. And there are a lot of them. Once again, these cards are very nicely done. The graphics on them are lovely and fit very nicely with the Fallout theme. The cards are nicely thick and very clearly printed. They should be very durable for long term play. There's a generous selection of dice, and thankfully, Modifius have decided to go with polyhedral dice. It's welcome to see a move away from the D6 format so many games rely on. It's nice to see even on the dice Modifius have continued with the Fallout theme. We can see here Nuka-Cola bottles and atomic explosions. I think these icons will be intuitive to use and add a lot to the game. And last but by no means least, 
we have this wonderful collection of miniatures. Printed in two different colours for those that don't wish to paint their miniatures, allows us to get the figures on the tabletop and get gaming straight away. This starter set is in PVC plastic, and I must say the detail on them appears excellent at first glance. If you'd like to see a close-up of these miniatures, stay tuned for an upcoming video where we'll be taking a very, very close look at them. Today's video is one that's been a long time in the making. I bought this game back in 2020. It was quite hard to get hold of back then, and I did an unboxing video during my first run at the channel. Unfortunately, I was never happy with it and didn't release it. So today I'm back to do, hopefully, an improved version. Big thank you to everybody who's been supporting all the build videos. Don't worry, lots more of those coming very soon. So stay tuned for the channel for that. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can let you know when new videos go live. Thanks again for watching.